Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the Visitor Engagement Department here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we've been learning all about the community conservation programs going on with our partners in Kenya and Ghana, working with endangered mountain bongo and sitatunga. These species can be tricky to find because there are so few of them in the wild and they live in very, very dense forests or wetland habitats. So our teams have to be really inventive when it comes to figuring out where these animals are, how they're moving, and how they're using the land. The Calgary Zoo, Mountain Bongo, and Sitatunga research teams and partners use camera traps and look for tracks to identify what animals have passed through an area and reconstruct the story of what those animals did when they were there. This helps us understand a habitat even if the animals we are looking for are hard to find. Today we're going to put on our scientist hats and use those skills in our own neighborhoods. If you take a picture of the same outdoor space throughout the day, what animals will you see? Try taking the same picture in the morning, lunchtime, afternoon, at dusk, and see what you see. Can you see if there are certain birds that visit your yard or outdoor space in the morning? Do you see different mammals in the afternoon? What are they doing? Also, can you use tracks in the snow or mud in your neighborhood to see what animals live near you? On today's Daily Dose at Home activity, you'll find track identification for rabbits, squirrels, porcupines, coyotes, and more. Can you find any of these where you live? Thanks for watching Daily Dose at Home, and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.